Welcome everyone. This is going to be a quick video showing you how you can create a more unique grid view in Flutter. Think something like Pinterest or the Instagram search page. Surprisingly not that easy to do in Flutter. We're going to open a jar. Easy. Now you try. First get a jar. Patrick, that's a pickle. But luckily there is a fantastic package that helps us to do just this. The package is called Flutter Staggered Grid View. So kudos to the author of this package. This package is fantastic and he's made a number of great packages. So please feel free to go support his work. Maybe you can buy him a coffee or at least just give the packages an upvote. To get started, clone the Flutter UI tips folder and open tip number two. And while you're there, give it a star because I'll be adding more tips to it. Wink. So let's jump straight into the code. You can see that we return a grid view builder. We specify the length, so the item count, how many items there will be. Specify the grid delegate to be a cross axis count. So in this instance, if we were to say that the cross axis count is five instead of three, then you can see that the grid is now a five column grid. And for the main and the cross axis spacing, that is the spacing between the actual widgets. So if we make this 100, you can see that the spacing is a lot bigger. And then finally, we have our item builder. And in this instance, we just return this widget called image card. And this is the actual image that is shown on the screen. And if we take a quick look at the actual data, it is stored in this image list. And you will see that some of these images have a different sized height, which will come into play later. So 500 by 500 means the width is 500 and the height is 500. However, some of them have a different sized height. So back to the code, let's explore how we can do it with the staggered grid view package. First things first, we will also need to remember to import the Flutter staggered grid view package. So now I'm gonna return the standard standard staggered grid and you will see that no change has happened it is still the exact same so in this instance we will return a count builder and we are only going to explore the count builder but please note that there are other builders as well but to keep it simple let's just explore the count builder again we specify the cross axis count to be three if we were to set this to five then it will return five columns and again we specify the item count and we return an image card and then a main axis spacing and a cross axis spacing. However, there is one extra thing to take note of, and that is this staggered tile builder. And in this staggered tile builder, we get a reference to the index, so the current index, and there are a number of different ones that we can return. We can return count, extent, or fit. So for now, let's explore the count. And in the count one, you can see that we have a cross axis cell count and a main axis cell count. So as an example, let's make the cross axis cell count two. Now the cross axis expands essentially two of the columns that you would specify over here. So if we were to change this cross axis count to six, you can imagine that our grid is divided into six different columns but we are specifying that the actual item that we are building should expand two of those columns when it comes to the cross axis extent and just one when it comes to the main axis cell count. If we were to make this two and two, then you will see it's exactly the same as saying that the cross axis count should be three and this should be one and one. That gives the exact same results. Okay, so let's move on to the Instagram example. So now I'm just gonna return Instagram. And this is where it's getting a little bit more interesting. Here you can see that some of them are big and some of them are just the standard size that we had before. So let's explore what is happening. We are doing the exact same thing. We are saying that the cross axis count is three. However, this time in the staggered tile builder, we are using the count as well. However, we have some logic to say that if it is divided by seven has a remaining value of zero, then we return that the cross axis extent should be two and the main axis extent should also be two. So essentially every seventh image will be bigger. If we wanted this particular image to expand the entire width of the screen, then in this instance, we can just say that instead of two, there should be three. And there you go. You can essentially use the staggered tile to define how big the widget should be. And if we would want to do something crazy, we can maybe make this nine. And now I can see that there are nine rows. All right, so let's continue to the last example. And that is the Pinterest. And in my opinion, this is the most interesting one. Here, the height of the item is defined by the actual height of the image. So remember that I mentioned in the image data, some of these images have different heights. Well, here that height is reflected in this grid. And this is achieved by first specifying that we want a cross axis count of two. And then instead of saying staggered tile dot count, here we are returning a staggered tile dot fit. And here you can see that this creates a staggered tile with the given cross axis cell count that fits its main axis extent 
to its content. The last one that we didn't explore is the extent. So here we would actually manually give the extent. So manually say the height. So the first attribute we need to give is the cross axis cell count. So we will specify this to be one and maybe we can say that the height should be 500. And as you can see, that is the example. If we were to say that the cross axis count is two, then now it will just be a standard list view. However, now if we were to make this four, then it is back to what we had. I hope you see how this works and I hope you see how this can be useful. This is honestly one of my favorite packages and has been tremendously useful. Thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next UI tip video. Cheers.